Hey there, Droid here, and welcome to Total Games Train Simulator. Today, finally taking a look at the Bam Cross City Line, taking service on the train from here in Bromsgrove up to Litchfield Trent Valley. So, about an hour and 20 minutes of train driving today. Nice, uh, decent service length. We are going to be quick because we are about a minute behind schedule. See our train right at the Bromsgrove departing in about, uh, well, a minute ago, so we'll be very quick about our intro. But today, in charge of a Class 333 service. The uh, only train ever built by the, uh, who are they? The Hunslet um, Transport People. So Hunslet, they only ever created one. It used to be like a steam train company who built steam trains, locomotives. Then they went to tours, ENUs, never really got it out of there. And uh, yeah, got disappeared from there. So we'll be quick about it, set our train up, prepare our departure. And hopefully quite a bit to talk about as we depart. So set our train up, open the doors. We will go for the announcements today, so... Currently to boarding at Bromsgrove. We have got all the announcements on trains. This is the 1919 Bromsgrove to Litchfield Trent Valley service. I've got to say, if you have your Calling chance, at Long if you have the use Federal's map, definitely, North uh, field. definitely worth it. You've got your GS map, Kings radar, Norden, you've got your... Um, Bourneville. Hard as well, so you've got your overlay, Selly there's Oak, our timetable, by the way. So Bromsgrove, University, Bromsgrove, Northfield. King's five Alton, ways. Uh, Bourneville, Sandy Oak, Birmingham University, New Street, Five Ways, Birmingham New Street, Aston, Aston Gravely Hill, um, Gravely Hill, Chester Road, Erdington, Green, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Chester Lane, Road, Black Street, Shenstone, Wild Litchfield Green, City, and Litchfield Trent Valley, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Shenstone, Litchfield City, and final yeah, destination nice Litchfield Trent Valley. Get going. So the wipers by accident. Uh, so set the highlights to daytime. Tail lights are off at the front end. Wiper switch is. Oh, the wiper switch. I don't need to turn the uh, wipers. I don't need those. It's not from this, I guess. Right, let's get going. Oh, come on, wipers. <laughs> Where are they? Uh, are they up here? Press the V cut button. I send them on. Ah, there they are. Right, wipers off. That's speed. We do There we go. Right, wipers are off. Let's carry on. Um, yes. Yeah, so, the Burn Cross City Line, also known as. Uh, he used to have a formal name, but basically in the 1980s, in Birmingham, they were looking for a route expansion, which essentially redid a lot of the um, lines here through the middle of Birmingham. So, the Birmingham Cross Country Line used to be serviced by DNUs, then got upgraded into an electric line, they had itinerary, and they were looking for any units to ride on the line. Uh, only bidding up for a couple Next of the stop. options, and Long Hunslet Bridge. ultimately picked up the deal. The Cross City Line also has the steepest gradient of any uh, UK railway line, which, if I can find the gradient... So this bit right now we're on has the steepest gradient of any UK railway line, and that is a... A 1 in 37.7, so it's basically almost like an... It's like a 20 degree climb uphill, which for a train is certainly quite a work of art. Oops. Also, the train's got full uh, safety systems. I'm a little more careful with uh, what I'm doing. So we're going to into a halt. Bear with us. Alright, so I'll do two external views. So basically, the train's well, it's got like an alarm system. You need to make sure you juggle the throttle every so often, just to keep the uh, train going forward. Uh, yes, we are set to our stopping patterns today, so let's see, our train's calling at, um, so, start off at Bromsgrove, calling at Longbridge, Northfield, Kings Norton, Bourneville, Sally Oak, University, Five Ways, Birmingham, New Street, Aston, Gravely Hill, Erdlington, Chester Road, Wild, Wild Green, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Chenston, Litchfield City, and Chilton Valley. Using my, uh, National Rail app here to, uh, confirm our stations. Yeah, this is the steepest bit of the uh, UK railway network. 
on in 37 points of ingredients. So as for the history of the Cross City Line, it started off in the uh, late, 19, late, late 1970s. They kind of redid a lot of the uh, lines in around Birmingham. Yeah, it's that beat there. I just want to make sure I'm keeping the throttle moving for. Um, 1978, they started planning the routes. And in 1980, they started developing it. Converted to scenery. Um, still using diesel trains. The end use for several years until like the 19, late 1990s, where they put out a bid, kind of like who created the best train for this route. They chose Hans at Design, Hans at Development 323, and then very shortly went bankrupt afterwards. So these are known as the Hyper Networkers. While not officially kind of, well, they're kind of part of the network family, they're not. So everyone knows that ABM were the original creators of the uh, Networkers back in the part of British Rail. But that's kind of long gone in the past now, so yes, these are known as the uh, the hyper networkers. <laughs> through the uh, little board, so you don't increase up to ninety. We are not stopping at Barnes Green. The station will be running fast through. We get to our first stop by twenty-eight. Some more high-pitched beeping for you. That's why I'm not to uh, give up on the external views at the moment because I miss those beeping. That's just basically like a driver alert system saying. Uh, move the throttle position and just kind of show these to the LUTs. Hence, you know, they're stopping on the way. Um, yeah, so Lynchfield Trent Valley. Lynchfield Trent Valley is on the West Coast Main Line, yes, uh, Kin Hopper. This is on the West Coast Main Line as well. Uh, welcome, Finley. How are you doing? Sorry. Welcome, Kai. Welcome, Femi. Welcome, Draven. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, Kin. How are you all doing today? Welcome, uh, Eleni. So, we can pass fast through uh, that screen. Barn Green is where the um, two branches of the Burn Cross City Line actually uh, diverge. So there's two lines. You have the branch run right now coming out of um, Bromsgrove. This is the newer branch. And you also have the older branch. I'm trying to head the that's actually on the rear. Yes, it is. No, they're not. So does this actually control the rear? No. Not what I thought. It's front run, isn't it? What I'm going to do is going to quickly jump to the rear cab. That switch. And hopefully now, right in the front. There, yeah, get some more like it. Right in the front, right on the back. So there's two branches. I say there's a branch running right now, which is out of Bromsgrove, which is the newer branch. You had the original branch which comes out of uh, Redditch on the uh, south section. Redditch trains will then stop at Four Oaks, while Bromsgrove's train will run all the way through to Litchfield. So two main branches. We're taking the uh, the newer. And the more stopper one. Now approaching Long Bridge, it's the US, two yellow, starts going down to speed. You do know the 223, the braking in this train, very, very good indeed. It sounds compared to the real train, so they used to use um, fire rod resistor motors, which give you that um, high pitch kind of whining sound you get. Similar to the VVFH motors yet on the Jubilee line, the class 465-9 and the class 365 units that have been tired. Um, and essentially, if you know Jubilee line sounds, you know what I'm talking about. It comes with the, uh, almost sounds like an F1 car. You get the motor, that increases, drops, increases, drops like... So that's kind of sound you get with these um, trains. And uh, so it's even more iconic sound train in the UK. So the 323's got a very uh, distinct sound. When we stop at uh, Long Bridge, I'll go for the external for you. I'll take a moment to kind of listen to it from the uh, external. As we approach station, we'll now play the now approaching sound. This is the 1919 Bromsgrove to Litchfield Trent Valley service, calling at Long Bridge, Northfield. Kings Norton, Bourneville, Sully Oak, University, Five Ways, Birmingham New Street, Aston, Gravelly Hill, Erdington, Chester Road, Wild Green, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Shenstone, Litchfield City, currently boarding at Longbridge. 
quite a long bridge. We departed a bit late, but departure time is now 1931. So, at Long Bridge, we'll be able to get our time back and hopefully no longer rush the uh, rest of our service. We'll do through the next tunnel uh, sound for departure this time, Merkin Hot Park. We've listed the train as it departs. Departing approximately one minute now. Let me add it to the, uh, the map as our next stop. And also, before I forget, you can also add the um, tracking to this train as well. So with Third Rail's map, it is possible to track the um, different units. So let me add the tracking link to the stream. If you wish to follow us, like I do on um, the train sim Third Rail's map, not Third Rail's, Train Sims, uh, sorry, Flight Sims, um, Ivar Webby. You can also use Third Rail's map to actually uh, track your train links. So there's our pinned comments. Just click on the link and it should open up Third Rail's map. And my sub is there, 255 is the only one that's on the, uh, the radar. Right, about 10 seconds to departure. Thank you. Got a guard buzzer, up, as these trains, I believe, are guarded. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's have a part, shall we? The, uh, not the loudest audio ever, I must admit. Not the loudest. Next stop, North Field. Uh, France just a train simulator, so he's looking for streamers helping you. Well, welcome to the stream, uh, Kate and I doing? How are you doing today? Welcome to the channel, I'm good to say. So we've passed Longbridge, next station for us is Northfield. So we've meant to arrive at Northfield at 33, so we're doing all right time now. We are slowly catching things up. Not perfect, not terrible by any means. We're fast, going about 6 miles per hour now. The brakes very shortly, so it's only half my way. That's visible just around the corner already. I can't remember train sim, we even trains in general, a little more precise with the uh, starting and stopping. With a flight, fair enough, it's quite simple. You take off, you fly, you land. When you're at cruise, there's very little for you to do. With a train sim, whoa, something just uh, gone on. We've been nuked, the sky's gone really, really bright there all of a sudden. <laughs> Scary that, all of a sudden, a giant flash in the sky. Yeah, the flash just calms down now. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> Take cover, lads. Right, that's a sick car stop marker. I'm going to train to a halt. Currently boarding at. Northfield. I mean, I'll say, train sim is it's an old platform, not the newest by any means, but it does still have its, uh, its own shine. It's like a new style. It's a very, uh, depending on the route you're on, it can be very, very pretty. So, if you're looking for train sim, train sim mates are definitely what I do, uh, I do recommend. It's aged, but not aged badly. I'll wait for the uh, guard to the buzzers. Here comes the sun, du -du -du -du. here comes the sun, and I say... <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. Right. Okay. Get it myself then. Next stop. Kings Norton. I keep pressing the guard button. Oh, I've got a big, I've got a thing as well. I need to play for the answers as well. Uh, go to Rougie Town Station window. Possibly, actually. Um, I don't think we can go as far as Rougie. We definitely go through. Well, this feels our destination. Rougie, that's on the old um, Trent. West Coast. There's, there's the Sim route for it, uh, West Coast Mainline uh, Trent Valley, which I have got. I'll probably will stream at some point soon. It's a very, very good route, that. But um, you are right. Rougie's not too far, because, um, well, my family held out from uh, Penkridge, which is around the corner from the US. Um, at least from my father's side, they're all on uh, Penkridge. 
This is the 1933 Brahms Grove to Litchfield Trent Valley service, calling at Kings Norton, Bourneville, Sully Oak, University, Five Ways, Birmingham New Street, Aston, Gravelly Hill, Erdington, Chester Road, Wild Green, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Shenstone, Litchfield City, and final destination Litchfield Trent Valley. Now, approaching Kings Norton. Uh, Blood Muni Street is where it's the biggest non terminus on the main line. Um, uh, well, New Street itself does count as a terminus, not trying to terminate there. But I, I know what he means, like a non terminus, yes. It's a massive station, New Street. I've been out of both New Street and um, Moore Street stations, one with the West Coast, one with Chilton. I have done from Birmingham International the uh, slow lines in the past. That's quite a journey. Open. Currently boarding at Kings Norton. Not a pretty bit, but well, it's about 7 pm now, so kind of at the very latter end of uh, rush hour. So things really start to come down. I'm sure once you get towards um, Birmingham New Street 2, things will start to really pick up. Closing, we depart at 36 now. As soon as ready, off we go. The brake as well are empty, and power is not going to through the train. Station, Bourneville. Next stop, Bourneville. Yes, yeah, so the Curzon Street will be coming back with the um, the OHS two lines. So that is has some improvements over the uh, well HS two bit of a mixed bag, I must admit. Not necessarily, not necessarily opinionated on the whole. Uh, if I'm pro or against it, but. Uh, that's the thing yet, man, that's for sure. This is the 1936 Thanks, Brahms Grove to Litchfield Trent Valley service, calling at Bourneville, Sully Oak, University, Five Ways, Birmingham New Street, Aston, so the Gravel Hill, Hill uh, well. Erdington, Commuter Line. Chester kind of Road, what Thames did in London, Wild which is Green, from north to the south, through Sutton Centre, Coldfield, in fact, all the um, four the oaks, one another as well. Butler's Lane, most well, successful projects, so Blake that's Street, a rockier journey throughout Shenstone, its, um, Litchfield City, life, but and final destination the Litchfield units, Trent Valley. Well, they may not be the most successful trains in the world, have served it really, really well. Bourneville. At the moment, they are in London with delivery, but these are now operated by Western Trains, having changed talk over about two years ago now. Uh, Western Trains set to run into about 2025, and then it will be set to up into the uh, Great British Railway, and that's something happened before them, which is the uh, top kind of full part from there. But at the moment, the Western Trains, former London Midlands, and soon to be um, National. Now, Bourneville, the uh, home of everyone's favourite chocolates. Is it really the carriage train? Mm, okay, last carriage just on the outside there. Technically, it's all open in real life because they are in the platform, but we could have gone, or we should have gone, right to the very end. These platforms pretty much just the length of our uh, this is car train. Punch time is 38, we're now 39, so as soon as the doors close, train goes forward.
Next stop. Sally Oak. Yeah, geez, at this moment in time, all the stations kind of quick sessions. So stop, 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 stop. Station after station. Okay, so just keeping the throttle in, going to break. So you need to get to about half an hour from each station. Sadly Oak, Birmingham New Street. Sorry, uh, Sadly Oak, University, Five Ways, New Streets, Aston, Bradley Hill, Ellington, so forth, so forth. So I'll get close to the centre now. Maybe a lot further north. It was a. Uh, which to the south, but that's going to extend then to uh, to Bromsgrove. Well, originally the Redditch branch, I'm going to take a lot of the um, passenger out of that. But from Bromsgrove, you have a few connections with further trains heading out to, to the south and east. See what I mean? So every time this on screen shows DVD active, DVD active, DVD active, that's the uh, beeping, which tells you to kind of lock the throttle. Keep you alert with the entrance um, operation. At the moment, it's not so much of a problem because, of course, you are stopping and starting really, really frequently. It's not quite sure why the uh, sky is so, so bright at the moment. Blind in that, blind in lights. But, uh, eh, what can you say? It's just uh, one of the many things, the bloom of this old platform that, of this old, yeah, this old sim platform that just needs a little bit of love, really. It's not terrible looking, just really, really bright. Probably doesn't like also that the sun so low on the horizon as a result of the so so bright. It's a car stop marker, right in the platform. Brake number two. Try to avoid brake number three where possible. Most Tox uh, try to stop drivers from going to brake motion three. If you do it on two, then it's pretty much good to go. Currently boarding at Sally Oak. Um, yeah, you have to come draw in a moment. Hopefully, we get ourselves a. Uh, Simpler lineup because we're going to need it. It's our team right now. Lots of Ramvich, a bit more, uh, bit more love, Chelsea. I'm afraid our players feeling a bit disheartened, the character especially. So uh, we'll see. It's going to be an interesting couple of uh, months, at Chelsea. We're not going to suffer. At the end of the day, we're ready to go top four club and succeeding in Europe. But these new owners. Yeah, we can prepare to open up their wallet, I think, Chelsea. That's the exit map, sorry. <laughs> Next stop. University. Down to our left, that is going to be the uh, canal. You also remember as well, Birmingham. It's a very, uh, a very freight-oriented city. A lot of cargo moves through the city centre of Birmingham. So we do share a lot of these lines with uh, cargo and freight trains as they uh, pass on through. Mm, I wouldn't want the, I wouldn't want Liverpool again, Teddy's. After Cup final, a bit of a, a break from top five clubs, I think. <laughs> uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I said, I don't think when the fat fail, I don't think we're going to collapse. Losing a Bramvich will affect the team quite, uh, quite a bit. Alright, it's going to university. Currently boarding at university. Be on the gaps, these are the gaps in train platform. Quite a uh, quite jump. In fact, I can get the um, thing to this. So, this is actually all Federal's maps uh, GSMR radio. So, I'll kind of make an announcement. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. And the guard will play these sounds as well. So, uh, if you see something that doesn't look right, the train departing first. Speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 610. Six, six, six. Six. We'll sort it. 
See it, say it, sort it. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sorted. So that's just my radar, which is kind of what controls the guard. This is the actual third map itself, which is a pretty good little tool. Nice and simple, I do really like it. So I'll start for the map, which is what you see on the bottom right corner, just kind of to my side there. GSM, uh, GSMR radio, which is a kind of the announcements. You've got a HUD on the top and bottom screen, so just top there. A few little extras, you show the map as well, which I can see from um, the pinned comments. Once it loads. And that shows everyone that's currently using the real map. So I've just got myself, which is 2555, city driver, Huni, and uh, German unit, RP48. Which pops on the map exactly. Which also, there's us. Training there. Train over in. Uh, obviously, at the moment, it's just leaving. To Pennington. Yeah, Preston's Barrow Service. It's a nice little tour. It's really, really, uh, really handy to have. There's your uh, RB48 service, Germany. And from uh, Bon Mayen to. Uh, Colm Messer. Nice city, Colm. Went to uh, head there again at some point. Uh, In-game announcements. Third rolls map, Andy. Third rolls map. Which are to 30 miles per hour now. As you approach five ways. Hit the tunnels. And then into New Street. Uh, trains like old um, hag. Yeah, it's not obviously particularly old. It's, um, it's, an, it's an early 2000s build. It's a 2002 these were built, so they're not particularly old units. They do use the, uh, the network of design, which certainly has aged a little bit from their initial concepts. Right, now approaching five ways. I think we're a tie behind schedule. Uh, in fact, I've updated the map, sorry. Next stop. Nope, Next sorry. stop. Five ways. I tell a lie. We're about a minute or so ahead of schedule, I think. Yeah, five ways to arrive at 48. So we're doing alright with time. As long as we hit Birmingham New Street on time, that's the uh, main that we need to focus on. Because that is kind of the. Uh, I want to say it's the bottleneck of the service. It's kind of like the timing stop. It's where you need to make sure you're on time. Otherwise, you'll start to fall behind service. So at the moment, we're doing alright. We're trying to approach on platform uh, two. One. So we depart at 48 again, so as soon as the door's closed, if I have already closed, we're good to go. Just again, just the brakes to release. Come on, train, don't tell us now. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a sticky old unit, this, but I do, I do adore it. It's not a bad little train to drive this. Um, I have got a hard map um, from Thames Inc. And yeah, I've got a few of them to give to you at some point today, yes. I've got the first batch ready to go. Next stop Birmingham New Street. On rotary and stuff, um, I mean, I'd be interested in it, uh, guy, absolutely. Whether or not my audience would be, it's another question, but for me, certainly, a bit of rotary fight would be uh, pretty fun to do. Just sort out the roots for it and everything as well. This is the 1948 Bromsgrove to Litchfield Trent Valley service, calling at Birmingham New Street, Aston, Gravelly Hill, Erdington, Chester Road, Wild Green, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Shenstone, 
Litchfield right, City, and, and final destination tower. Litchfield do do Trent this, Valley. Cruel, cruel now, approaching Birmingham New Street. There we go. Welcome to Birmingham New Street. It's a grand station, this. Here we can go to Birmingham. Even just transporting it New Street for a little bit, you get absolutely everything running for the station. It's worth, uh, it's worth a moment to kind of sit and just uh, look. There's the tent. Coming in from the west side of the station. So that the uh let's go to the main lines are coming through as well. We did train trains heading towards the north, such as Wolverhampton, Anchorage, to Stafford and all that kind of uh, stuff. And then exit through the east side, which will be coming through the other side. We need to pull to the end of uh, platform 8A. Normally train calls in the platform 9A, so on the HUD there top right corner it says 9A is our platform. But that's so pulling into platform 8. 8A will be our Stopping location. We've got uh, Middles. Yeah, Middlesbrough just popped up there. Thank you, uh, Teddy. It's got Middlesbrough that pops up for the uh, next round. Yeah, it's not a terrible journey for us. But, but, uh, prefer Middlesbrough over a lot of teams at the moment. Cannot lie. <laughs> right, towards the end, platform 8A. And we're now trying to a halt. Uh, just for that red sig that green signal there. Because I'll bring things to a stop. Currently boarding at Birmingham New Street. Yeah, it's a grand old station, New Street. A lot going on in this station. So I'm just uh, getting to a hold. I'm not trying to approach things well from the uh, east side. So it's not train, not empty coach movements, or terminating here and then move to depot afterwards. Doors close. Next stop, Gravelly Hill. Maybe not, stop open again. <laughs> well, it's three signals now, so the potch time here is... Open the app. Street, 1955. So actually, we've got another two minutes here anyway. Not departing just yet. So we have a little bit of time before we need to uh, think about leaving. There's the uh, main front of the station. It's a very fancy building, this. The uh, reflective design to it. Sometimes catches me out as well. Since I'm walking down a high street, I'm like, all of a sudden, I look quite interesting. Who knows? It's the roof of the station. That's all proper shiny polished metal, that. Okay, new streets. Quite the station, quite the station. And normally, when I go through uh, new streets, I will use. Find the, uh, there should be a terminating platform somewhere on this station. Uh, this one, I think. Yeah, this one. So, I'll get up to the West Coast Main Line using platforms um, 1 and 2. Cut across over to platform. Uh, this one, and here, you get train trains running towards the uh, towards the northwest. So I'll go to Cosford for example, flats and show. Platform three, let's all go. Right, as soon as the doors close, let's have for the beeping, and then make our way towards our next station. the brakes to uh, release. Next stop, Gravelly Hill. Just 
McCrory at station about 10 miles per hour. As soon as you get to the tunnel, speed up will increase to 30. And it's a slightly faster run. It's Gravelly Hill. We'll continue the rest of our journey, stopping at Gravelly Hill, Addington, Chester Road, Wild Green, Sutton Coldfield, Four Rights, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Chenston, Lichfield City, and Lichfield Trent Valley. So, yeah, we're just under halfway there now. Just under halfway there. Right, even through track D. Junction should come up shortly, pushes to the left, and that takes us up towards the, uh, the northeast. Some very pretty sky colours at the moment. I don't know how natural these uh, sky colours are. They are very pretty. Pinks and the purples and the blues. <laughs> over to the left hand side, down the Vauxhall line, and into, well not stopping at um, Duddleston, need to continue fast, I'm going to be stopping at Aston today, normally change the uh, several stop at Aston, instead of skipping Aston straight to um, Gravelly Hill, so the real train stopping on my occasion is to come not today, station stations are close for work or something like that. Move up to 50, increase the throttle power. Once again, it's a control train as well, so brakes and throttle in the single uh, handle there. So skipping Dudston, skipping, skipping Aston. through to uh, Gravity Hill. So we're going to ban the speed once upon a time. Nothing you'll find in Birmingham. A lot of old stations, a lot of old platforms, a lot abandoned. Where well, once upon a time again, this should be the heart of the uh, British industry. Sadly, a lot of it are left to a uh, rot. US. <laughs> of course we'd miss that in the uh, tunnel view, would we? The one thing that annoys, I guess, yeah, it's, it's a nice and train sim when you have like cab lumps and everything, but you don't play them in the external views. So in that case, I was looking at the platform behind me. Oh look, I've missed the alarm. And now we're stuck, stranded. Come on, reset those brakes. So I love the synth bits, but there are some There we go, both reset. There are some things that do need a, a bit of redeciding. Aspects.
20 now. So I'll try and go through set points onto the right hand tracks now. We're diverting away from the lovely. Re entering with the uh, cross city line. Yeah, it's on our left, that goes towards Warsaw. That's the junction of Aston. Then out of that, Consistos Gravelly Hill, it's Addington, Chester Road, Wild Green, it's Coldfield. Then cross the Sutton Park line. It's Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Flake Street, Chester, Nichols City, and the Children Valley. Well, we then have train that will cross through on the West Coast Main Line. And also track itself to turn straight towards the uh, Burston on Trent. But Burston on Trent will be at the reach of our uh, commuter trains on the Birmingham um, Cross Country, Cross City. Uh, don't really watch Minecraft videos, Eleni. So the answer is no. I managed to do all right for Gravity Hills, by the fact that we had the uh, slight hiccup there on the uh, stop between uh, Dudston and Aston. We have managed to, I guess, pick ourselves up and keep going from there. Uh, no, it's alright, dude. You take care. Have a good one, dude. Another thing about the cross city line as well. So that's very, uh, it's very trainish line. This, say so the one one thirty seven point seven bit out of uh, Bromsgrove. See the track in the UK. Right now, it's quite a steady uphill climb. A lot of uh, ground. Mouth should be covering the strip. Very steady train. Keep it on the throttle. Try not to. I was doing downhill with this track. I mean, there's a few where I do kind of go a little bit of the limits. But I can't imagine these all right. Generally, not the uh, worst bit of driving ever. Hit the brakes. Doors release. Currently boarding at Gravelly Hill. We depart Gravity Hill at 20.04. Got another seven or so seconds we need to depart. How are you doing, driving? Welcome channel, welcome to the chat. How are you doing, dude? It's been a little while, man. Welcome, uh, Junior Films Corporate. Are doing well, channel fun chat as I did. Next stop, Erdington. This is the 2004 Brahms Grove to Litchfield Trent Valley service, calling at Erdington, Chester Road, Wild Green. Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Shenstone, Litchfield City, and final destination Litchfield Trent Valley. Now, approaching Erdington. Hi well, guys here on chat. Uh, if you do a search for Kai C Forces Through on YouTube, one of my channel moderators, and all around good guy. Uh, he was also streaming Train Squad himself, actually, so when the stream ends, go give him a bit of love. Kai C463. Definitely uh, worth a watch. He's doing some uh, love down around the moment. 
So we're now approaching Erdington. Just got the brakes to the six car markup. And then the next stage is Chester Road, only about half a mile down the track, about 500 yards or so, so we don't need to go too fast for the next bits. In fact, this was stationary. Currently boarding at Erdington. There's lights ahead of us, those lights there, the platform for the next station. Got a uh, right on the trains coming through, we're going to be running fast. We depart Chester Road at 20.07, so we'll be leaving in about a minute or so, 30 seconds, as soon as we can go, go Chester Road, and Chester Road, we then continue on to Wild Green, Sutton Coldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Shenston, Litchfield City, and Litchfield Trent Valley. So we've got about 10 seconds. Yes, yeah, so now we spin these railways, James, yes, but the time this route was set, well, the time this was set, aka back when the line um, <laughs> required licensing, was a lot of mid and control operations. Yeah, these days it's um, west and east of the trains, so it's these days west of the trains, but back then it was um, cross country, um, sorry, London Midland. Uh, I believe there are some EMR routes in train sim, I'm going to do a Google for you. So the answer is um, yes. Sorry, not paying attention there. Not paying attention. We're gonna shoot right through. Just a real oh gosh. <laughs> not paying attention. Get right on through. That's what I get for uh, being nice and googling train sim uh, routes for you. <sighs> Right, we cannot pass that red signal. Might be able to cover the uh, portion of the train. <laughs> well, that's close these uh, stations work. So, this is the tightest bit of track. Currently boarding at yeah, there Chester are these Road. Trains. You've got ads for it as well, so the class 2 to Meridian, which does exist. you got trains, you've got routes towards, yes, they do exist. So, if you want to have a bit of trains to be spindlings, then options do exist for you out there. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, James, it's alright. It's alright. Um, so do you know Crazy Club feed wake up, you subscribe but can't download it? Um, make sure, so we need to do, um, JR, what we need to do is head to your train sims settings bit. Next stop. Log out of Wild Bustle Live Green. and then re-log in again. You need to log out and log in, because when you log in, you're going to be given the option to create a creator's like username and also need to access terms and conditions. So log out, log in, and accept the terms. When you've done all that, then you can um, download and upload your own uh, routes, and, oh, sorry, your own scenarios and your own uh, liveries. Welcome to CSU Heading, welcome to the channel, welcome to the chat, how to say, dude. Approaching Wild Green. Arriving in Wild Green platform at 2011. So we'll just uh, 
Well, forget about Chester Road. <laughs> that never happened. A little bit further to our last platform. not quite in platform yet. That'll do. Currently boarding at Wild Green. I presume this here is a footpath that leads to the main road just it does. Quite a nice little bridge there, actually. Very uh, fancy. We'll try and look at our train from the uh, top bridge departure. But at least there's a foot. There's a sign there that stops you from uh, walking past. My guess is like an old entry point. Yes, yeah, so here's a more modern exit point. See, it's all barred up and fenced and concrete ground. Over there, that's just. Uh, well, nothing more than dirt track, really. So my guess this is the old entry point. Now, uh, yes, this will be all fenced up. So what it says as well, yeah, this is no way the uh, passing modern health and safety standards. Next stop, Sudden Cold Field. Welcome, Six. How doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to chat. How's day, dude? The sun card was like a minute or so away from, well, two minutes away from us. We've got a little bit more time to uh, increase our speed here. And uh, push for the next station. Um, Philippe, how are you doing? Welcome channel chats. I'm not too bad, sir, Senpai, not too bad. I was off work yesterday, off work today, back to work tomorrow. Next couple of days ahead, so... Yeah, I'm not too bad myself. Just, uh... I'm just enjoying myself, really. i a late shift, so... Let's get a bit of a lane as well, can't play like that. So working tomorrow, working Saturday, Sunday, I'm the volunteer railway. And I'm working Monday through to Thursday, and five days off. So I can't complain actually, it's not a bad roster ahead of me now. And in April, we'll do a few swap shifts shift swaps as well, so I'll get a few days to my benefits as well. In the next couple of months, not looking too bad for me. It's uh the old railway. Ah boy, we managed to break this again. At least for this train, if you imagine breaks, it gives you a chance to kinda of change your mind. If you hit the emergency and release it, the train won't just go straight to emergency, it will. Release the brakes if you want to. A lot of the modern EMU trains hit the emergency brakes. Even if you don't release the emergency and go back to power, apart from on the HS2 high speed train, it will stop the train regardless of what you're doing. So, at least for this unit, you get an opportunity to kind of change your mind if you um, if you request it. Right, Sutton Coldfield. Currently boarding at Sutton Coldfield. It's a very, very pretty station, Sutton Coldfield. 1800s design this. One of the oldest stations on the uh, on the line. Very, very pretty. Been through a couple of times. Honestly, the, uh, the whole layout just takes me away, really. It's such a beautiful old station, this. I've not been off at Coldfield. One day I will take a chance to actually kind of jump off the train and actually look at it in more detail. Up close, but it really is a beauty to behold. I'm enter the uh, Sutton Coldfield tunnel now. Train departs at 14. It's 14 now, so presumably this was going. Next stop, Four Oaks. Ooh, it's real. I actually can't see the um, the hut. Well, the hut or stream. I actually can't even see it. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. Uh, give me a minute. I'm just trying to. There you go. So, let, me, let me try and copy the hut across from the uh, train sim. Feed. Uh, copy, 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 copy. Train sim. Paste. Um, mute that. There you go. Ah, okay. I'll, I'll find a new position because the chat gets in the way. So I'll work on it. But yeah, you do actually get a proper HUD on top of the screen there. Which uh, shows you kind of journey details. Um, let's, let's rebuild the train sim now while I'm actually streaming it. Why not? So. I'm in chats. Height's fine, it's just the uh, position needs to change, really. Welcome, Ashley, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, 
the chat to her, swear, dude. Mm. Gosh, if I kind of did it like that, and then use the chat, or use the box. So this is a temporary position for it. I'll work out on a better position later on, I guess. Uh, long haul, probably um, next week. Uh, medic, we'll see. Probably next week. Now pushing for it. Arriving in Four Oaks Platform One at 2017. Uh, you train workers or Ash, Roy? Who do you work for? Which, uh, talk? Uh, do you love, and what do you, the Chilson Railways and Extreme? I've done a Chilson Train of Pasta, Chris. I've got the, um, London to Ellsbury route, and London to Ellsbury. I have trained both the, um, High Wycombe branch and the Harrowham Hill branch as well, so, have done that channel quite recently. Currently boarding the, uh, at. Four oaks. Until we stream Chilson again. Or I have to pick up the Birmingham routes. Welcome Transport Gain, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to chat, how's today, dude? Four oaks at 17. 17 now. Let's get going. Uh, we'll stop at your train home by the screen. Oh, yes, uh, this train will. Uh, sorry, dude, I don't think we do. So, leaving Four oaks now. Next station's Butler's Lane. Next stop Butler's Lane. Uh, Barnes Green. We pass through Wild Green. I'm afraid Barn Green is not one of our stations on this route. So we've got Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Shenston, Litchfield City, and she has got uh, Children Valley. I'm going to train all them turning notes. Arriving in Butler's Lane platform at 2020. Uh, I've already got it, Chris. I've already got Chilson Roots. I just told you, I've already streamed this channel. Currently boarding at Butler's Lane. Right, let's welcome to Butler's Lane. Next station is Blake Street, Shenstone, Nashville City, and Nashville Trent Valley. So we're nearly the end of our service now. Just four more stations to the very end. Time wise, not too bad at the moment. There's a few stations we've got a little bit kind of ahead or be behind, but we're now going to about. 15 seconds of our timetable, which ain't a bad place to be at, so fingers crossed. We may keep it at that. Next stop Blake Street.
Arriving in Blake Street platform at 2022. Brakes, he's going a little bit of track, so he's be a little more careful of the uh, stopping here. Now pushing to position number three and braking for a little bit. Currently boarding at Blake Street. Yes, I did watch the uh, Luton Chelsea game. Definitely uh, <laughs> had me on the edge of my seat. A lot of distraction players at the moment, especially with the uh, announcement that Abraham just said in the club. A lot of distractions. I can't really, uh, I can't really fault any of them for not playing their best. But it's not the, uh, not the most glorious minute at Chelsea. It's kind of the depressing, the depressing ends that. Our money splashing owner has to uh, part way with us now. So, I wish around rich well. As he says, the profit that comes out of the selling the club. That will be going towards the uh, people out in Ukraine. Sports rebuilding the uh, country and obviously those that have lost their high in the battle. So it's actually money's not going to go to a bad place. It's a shame for it. Just a shame how, kind of how it all comes to an end with uh, a grand bitch. Next stop, Shenstone. Very shortly arriving at Shenstone, Shenstone to Litchfield, and then sorry, Litchfield City, and Litchfield City to Trent Valley. So, about 13 minutes away from our scenario. Through the uh, fast fit routes that we break away from at the commuter stopping every five minutes, a uh, bit of service. We're going to increase the speed a little bit, throttle, and start uh, running up to high speed. So, Shenstone to Litchfield City. That's the longest bit of this uh, trip back in stations. That'll be about seven minutes of a uh, 90 mile per hour driving. I'm going to switch over to the, uh, the night speed lights. Now that's on has set. Therefore, all visibility on the uh, right side signage. To uh, work on this overlay for train sim, I think. It's not terrible, but just needs uh, some adjusting to get right. Arriving in Shenstone platform at 2026. Right, welcome to Shenstone. Mm -hmm. 
station again. You've got the original station building combined with a slightly modern bridge. You get a lot of that in Birmingham. We have the old and original and the modern facilities kind of tagged on the side. I'm going to have a guess that once upon a time this was probably going to be level crossing when the station first opened. But for the sake of traffic, well, actually, either a level crossing or a lower bridge, because the more modern bridge you see, the more boxed interior. That will be for the um, sake of the team heights leveling. So, it's either once upon a time a crossing, or we just race it for the sake of um, getting the clearance into the catenary. Next stop Litchfield City. Four miles now from uh, Ridgefield Train Valley, which was the penultimate stop. Ridgefield Train Valley, which train terminates. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61916. Whoops. We'll sorry it. <laughs> see it. Say it. Sorted. 610, not 619, sorry. 610, wrong number. <laughs> Also sort. Sorry, that's six one zero one six for the British Transport <laughs> Police. Uh, that's what I get for the wrong numbers down. I can touch type. I always got to check my uh, check my numbers before I uh, post anything. Down to forty-five. Down to twenty. If we take this to city. Down to a little bit early at this point, so you can see uh, two pack for. Uh, I'll try on the hard two pack. The 5 5 Broadway Road to the Trent Valley. So station 19 of 21, they're approaching. 19 of 21. Sorry, the 19, they're approaching 20. This is the 2026 Brahms Grove to Litchfield Trent Valley service, calling it Litchfield City, and final destination Litchfield Trent Valley. Now, approaching. Litchfield City. Okay, don't try to run away from me too much. Just point two miles per hour into the station. Crawl it through to the other side. About two minutes of stopping here, and then to our final stop. Let's ring terminates.
currently boarding at Litchfield City. There you go. Very new that. Just one more stop to go now. It's not a bad run, the uh, Musgrove City Fields. About an hour and 20 or so minutes, I'd say, for start to finish. An hour, yeah. an hour and 15, hour and 20. So you're not going to spend too long going back and forth. Maybe about five trips a day as a driver, four or five trips. Um, yeah, I mean, what can you say? Simple enough ride to drive. Not overwhelming. You're not going too fast either, so maybe stopping and starting won't be too difficult to uh, manage. For all, it's, uh, it's more than fair little run this. Next stop. Litchfield Trent Valley. So our next stop is our final stop. About a mile to get there. Side in there, you can see red lights at the front. Miles to go. Then connect up with the West Coast Main Line. And you'll be able to see the branches of the uh, line that's split off towards Stratford, towards, uh, sorry, towards Stafford, towards um, Rugby, and towards uh, Burton Trent. It's quite a large station as well, uh, Mitchell Trent Valley, so I have a chance to kind of look around that as well, kind of where the branches all lead off onto. But I can't, if I recall correctly, it's a high level and a low level. Could be wrong. I believe there are two levels to um, Trent Valley. Up to six miles per hour. Increased throttle. We just get going. These houses, <laughs> train horn passing uh, through uh, 10 pm at night. A couple of crossings there, so they need to be sounded. They need to be sounded. Yes, this your train valley does have a high level and a low level. We are entering the uh, high level, I believe. Um, yes, yes, we are. So this line continues through to Basel and Trent. She's down for several miles ahead of us. Passage needs to connect. And then use the stairs to head down to lower level. And from there, walk across as you're connecting at Stafford Rugby Trains. But for me, bring train to a halt. This is where we terminate. Currently boarding at Litchfield Trent Valley. Not in service, not in service. Cool, so we turn right here, I'll stop the run. Quick down at the low level, see this is the uh, much bigger station, got West Coast pass through fast in the middle. Slow platforms on the outside. These are all uh, served by some trains. The upper level, only a single platform remains. You've got the uh, other platform which kind of exists but only across the bridge itself. Nothing too uh, fancy. And set of stairs, you go down towards the uh, itself, you go down to the platform. So single platform station, and the services will continue on towards uh, Burton and Trent, heading direct. Well done, you've reached the end of this uh, quick drive scenario. So, certainly a few moments of us speeding there. Let's have a look at what the end of driving stats were like. We can also do it live, so we can also end our session. There's a real drive service. The route was the Birmingham Cross City. The scenario starting off at uh, Bromsgrove, which is BMV, I believe. Yes. It's BMV 2. Stations coach. Which your station is this LTV? Uh, yeah, this is from Valley. BMV to LTV. 
Country, Arts Kingdom, then it's Pubber Set, and push out to the Bad Rails Bristleboard. So, Bad Rails Bristleboard come out the, uh, the Volanta, the Train Sim, as you share your uh, Train Sim routes and scenarios, give it to uh, 10 lookouts. In fact, if you wish to look at it in more detail, this route, click on the share link. It's this link right here. Paste in the chat. There you go. If you wish to look at my route in more detail, that's where you can get it. Of, well, that's actually 92 miles per hour, we're going to get 90, time and 26, close to miles this driver, 92. How do we drive for now 26 when we uh, go straight for now 17? <laughs> very odd, very odd. Right, so, stuff like this nation, time completed, no fares there, spent 26 times, in problem course, use of form twice, I need to form twice, and take the entire service. Hmm, I mean, that's uh, not clear enough. 3-2-3, drove for an hour 27, and the stats have been very good, 13 months in total. So yeah, that's Bowman Cross City, this is our little route. Probably should stream it a little bit earlier back in the year since the first release, but what can I say? I do really, uh, I do quite like it. It's not perfect, the sound's a little bit quiet, there's a few things that need to tweak on 3-2-3, but visually the route's pretty good, the train itself is not the worst to drive, I do uh, rather like it. So, that brings in the last stream today, hope you enjoyed it. Do you like it? Did, do subscribe if already. Thank you very much for taking part in tuning in. Tuning in next on Saturday. If we're going to plan, do some fights on Saturday. Otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll uh, see you soon. Have a good one and have a good night. Bye bye.